Here we have something multiplied by 6 equals 42. So to solve this, we can count up in steps of 6 until we get to 42. 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, 42. So we needed 7 jumps to get to 42, so 7 times 6 is 42. But what we've really done here is divide 42 by 6, and we got 7 groups, so 42 divided by 6 is 7. And if we know that 42 divided by 6 is 7, we know that 7 times 6 is 42. Now we have 8 times something equals 32. What is our missing number here? Well, let's count in steps of 8 until we get to 32. 8, 16, 24, 32. And we needed 4 jumps, so 8 times 4 is 32. But what we've really done here is divide 32 by 8. And we made 4 groups, so our answer is 4. And if we know 32 divided by 8 is 4, we know that 8 times 4 is 32. Now we have 45 divided by something equals 9. So let's count in steps of 9 until we get to 45. 9, 18, 27, 36, 45. We needed 5 jumps to get to 45, so our answer is 5. But what we've really done here is divide 45 by 9, because we've made groups of 9, and we've made 5 groups. With division, you can always get a different division fact by swapping the divisor and the quotient, so here, swapping 9 and 5. So if we know that 45 divided by 9 is 5, we also know that 45 divided by 5 is 9. Now we have something divided by 8 is 6. So how are we going to find our answer? Well, this question is telling us that when we divide a number into groups of 8, we get 6 groups. So let's make 6 groups of 8. 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, 48. So we have 6 groups of 8, and we've made 48. So 48 divided by 8 is 6. And what we really did here, to find our answer, is 6 times 8, which is 48. And if we know that 6 times 8 is 48, we know that 48 divided by 8 is 6. And we also know that 48 divided by 6 is 8, because with division, you can swap the divisor and the quotient around to get a different number fact.